What is up you guys? It's Katya Books. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another vlog style video during our quarantine season. Woo! So much fun. So yeah, obviously I have a lot of time on my hands giving me all this extra time to obviously film but try some cool things. So of course, I just enjoy taking you guys with me. So today, we have another leg workout. This one is gonna be different from the last. The other was beat was more like glute hamstring focus. This one is gonna be more quad dominant. And on top of that, I have a fun new taste test to do with you guys because I found a crazy new vegan product in stores. So I really wanna try it out with you guys. And then also, I wanna try making my own Nutella. If you remember from a few videos ago, I went to the store and got a bunch of different types of nuts to try to make my own nut butters. And I thought, okay, now I wanna try making my own Nutella. So obviously that requires like cocoa and hazelnuts with a few other ingredients. So we're gonna try that out today and we'll see how it goes. But other than that, I'm going to start with the workout portion. So I'm gonna just change, take my pre-workout and then I'll see you guys in just a minute. Yeah. Okay, so I am too impatient to wait till after the workout to try this new product. So we're gonna just try it right now. But, do do do. Vegan smoked salmon. Like, this is crazy. I've seen nowadays recipes for making it out of like carrots and I don't know, all other kinds of things, which I've wanted to try, but I just haven't. But when I saw this in store, I knew I had to grab it and try it with you guys because this is crazy. You have seen me do Sophie's Kitchen taste test of some of their other fish products before, whether it be like the canned tuna or their battered shrimp. And also I think they had like some crab cakes. Yeah, but anyways, they usually come out with like fish seafood products. So I thought, oh my goodness, when I saw this at Sprouts, I had to grab it to try it with you guys. Cause this is just crazy. So really quickly, just to let you guys know what it is made out of, like the base ingredients are water, olive oil, cognac powder, pea starch, potato starch, pea protein, sea salt, agave, seaweed powder, friendly Greek, alginate from seaweed, paprika, calcium hydroxide. So honestly, not that many ingredients, which is surprising. So it's not like a crazy processed food. So that's kind of cool too to see. But anyways, I wanna go ahead and try this. It's too fat, 16 carb, less than one gram of protein. So no, it's not a very good fish alternative if you're looking for protein. But I thought this would be fun to try with you guys. So I'm gonna just put it on top of like a rice cake. I wish I had some vegan cream cheese to do like a lox, you know, with some cream cheese, capers, oh, that would be delicious. If this is good, I'm definitely gonna do that. But yeah, I'm gonna just put this on top of a rice cake and we'll do a taste test. Okay, I tried thawing it out as best as I could, but I could only get like two slices. It is so weird, like, I mean, it does, color-wise, it kind of looks like fish, but it's just like, I don't know. It's, it's freaky, it looks, like that doesn't look like fish, obviously. It smells fishy, which kind of freaks me out because it's kind of like, I don't like the smell of raw fish, but I do like sushi. Well, I used to like sushi, so I don't know if just my taste buds have changed or what, but this is just kind of freaky. So, I mean, I don't know, I'm nervous, but let's see how it tastes. Okay, definitely has that smokiness. Texture wise, not at all like salmon, not at all. But taste wise, I mean kind of, yeah. Taste wise, it's more so like smoked salmon. But texture wise, absolutely not. Um, I mean, mm, kind of chewy. It was a good attempt, but it almost tastes like fishy bacon or something. <laughs> Honestly, like, I probably, I, yeah, I'm not gonna buy it again, but it was fun for trying, and I can't wait to do like a lox and bagels kind of thing, but I'm just, I'm not a fan of the texture. It's just like, it's hard to chew, and it doesn't break apart like soft like salmon does, so, eh. But it was fun to try. 
and I found out Sprouts, and I think they have a website you can buy stuff off of. So, if you want to give it a try, go ahead and do it. But yeah, so I'm gonna munch on this, and now we're gonna go do the workout. <laughs> Okay, so I quickly warmed up, just did some stretches, got my pre-workout, this stuff right here. If you want to see the review on it, click on the card above so you can know more about it. But we are actually going to start with hack squats. And fun fact, you can actually do hack squats without a machine. So typically there's hack squat machines, but it's a movement that you can do without it. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a barbell. And since barbells also aren't really things that people have in a house, I will show you guys how to do an alternative for it. So I'm gonna set up the barbell and show you that initially. So the best way to describe the motion that we're gonna do is it almost looks like you're doing a reverse deadlift because the weight's gonna be coming off from the ground. But, so what you're gonna be doing, you're actually gonna be standing in front of the bar. So this is a quad movement. And it is a little low, obviously, because these aren't like a normal plate. But you'll reach down, and you'll come up as though it's like a deadlift, but just behind you. You will definitely feel it in your quads and let me show you real quick how to do this with a dumbbell or something else that's going to be weighted. So if you only have dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever, you can just grab this and I recommend it may be a little difficult but hold it behind you and just do the same motion. Go down and up. And the entire time I'm holding like a close stance and that's what's gonna help get it to be more quad dominant than anything else. So I'm gonna do four sets of this, try to increase in weight because I just did this for 12. And yeah, go give it a try. All right, so hopefully that is an exercise that you guys are gonna be able to give a try at home. But otherwise, next we've got walking lunges which are kind of self-explanatory. So you can, if you have absolutely no weights in your house, just do it until you're pretty much fried. Um, otherwise, if you got weights, I'm gonna be starting around like 15 reps. So four sets, 15, and then seeing if I can increase weights because I do luckily have weights at my house. We've got 10 pounds, 20 pounds, and 25 pounds. Other than that, yeah, let's do this. Those lunges were killer. My quads fried. Um, just a tip, if you are wanting to focus on the quads, do almost a heel or a knee to heel kind of motion, keeping your stance really close. Otherwise, when you do it longer, you hit more glutes and hamstrings. But anyways, we're only just getting started. So next, we've got Bulgarian split squats. Yes, four sets again, 12 to 15. High rep. Short rests, let's do it.
once work out to be over just like you. I'm dying right now, but we're not done. We have two more exercises. Next, we're gonna be doing goblet squats with our heels slightly elevated with a dumbbell in our hands. Having the heels a little elevated just helps get more of the quads, keep the feet together. If you are trying to hit more glutes, just don't do the heel elevated and put your feet out a little further. Yeah. To the last exercise, leg extensions. Of course, if you don't have a leg extension thing in your house, all you have to do is loop up some bands from behind you, sit in a chair, and just extend your legs forward. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I'm finished with like the main leg workout exercises. I'm just gonna finish off doing some calves, standing calf raises, super easy. Don't need to film that. Other than that, maybe do some abs. I don't know. I've just been doing abs sporadically, like either earlier in the day or later in the day. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you'd like for me to show you any more alternatives and actually do a full workout with alternatives, if you don't have this kind of equipment, I'm happy to do so. Just comment that below. Otherwise, I'm gonna see you guys in the kitchen to make the Nutella. That part's gonna be a voiceover. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you afterwards. All right guys, so for the Nutella, we need one cup of raw hazelnuts and you're gonna put this on a sheet pan and we're gonna put this into the oven for 350 degrees for about 15 minutes. Honestly, well, I put it at 15 minutes, but turns out you should only do 12. Um, oh, oh, there's my dad. Hello, Pops. But yeah, after it's roasted, take it out, of course. Uh, let it cool down before the next part. So, which we will take a clean kitchen towel, like this one with the polar bear. It has to have a polar bear. No, I'm kidding, but yeah. Get a clean kitchen towel. We're gonna pour the already cooled down hazelnuts onto it. In which case, just fold it over and roughly like move them, shake them all around because we want to remove the skins off as best as possible. And once you have the skin, skins uh, removed as best as possible, go ahead and put them in your either high speed blender or food processor. And then when we're gonna process them, we're gonna take a third cup of chocolate chips, dark chocolate chips. Why I use dark chocolate chips is just because then you, if you do cacao powder, you totally can do that, but then you just have to add a sweetener. So, I don't know, I find this just easier, you know, less ingredients. So we're gonna go ahead and start putting in like a third teaspoon of vanilla extract. Very, very little really you need. Um, so yeah, using the non-alcoholic type, of course, because the alcohol one just adds a weirdness to it. Just a pinch of salt, a sea salt. Um, I guess you could use whatever kind of salt you want. Pink Himalayan, whatever. But then of course, add your melted chocolate, dark chocolate, oh my gosh. I mean, I, I, you could probably put, you know, milk chocolate, and I feel like that would make it even more resemble Nutella. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to follow this recipe I found online, which I will link below. But yeah, I, I went ahead and used these dark morsels, which I've just had in the pantry, so it made sense to use it, and you don't have to add sweetener. And then, of course, blend her all up so it's nice and combined. Then, get a mason jar of choice, because we are gonna pour your homemade Nutella that you just made. Congratulations. So, yeah, look at, look at that. Look at that deliciousness. Like, 
don't you want to make that for yourself? Like, it's so easy. And, yeah, no added sugar, and it's vegan, of course. So, yeah, go ahead and try this yourselves. Haha. <laughs> Okay, so I came to the garage to taste test the Nutella because my dad's watching a movie, so it's kind of loud. But anyways, <laughs> so yeah, I kind of messed up and I roasted the hazelnuts for a little too long. So they did come out kind of burnt. You probably saw it in the video. The color was really dark. So even before I added the chocolate, it was already pretty dark. But I kind of like the spoon and it seemed to taste pretty good. So let's see how it tastes. I just got like... A rice cake right here so I'm gonna slather some of it on it's super liquidy oh man but it smells so good oh man like you could definitely when you open up the jar smell the toastedness from it so next time I know maybe just stick to like the 10 to 12 minute range don't go straight to 15 could be my oven as well I don't know we have a really old oven fluctuates with temperature and stuff but that looks, oh my gosh, delectable. So, let's see. Mm hmm Yeah. I mean, you can definitely taste the burnness, but that chocolate that I used, oh my gosh. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That is still so good. Regardless of having that kind of, that really toastedness taste. That's delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. It still tastes pretty good. I just, yeah, don't over bake or roast your hazelnuts. But if you like a roasted taste, like this is really good. I mean, come on. Anything with chocolate is pretty much good. And then a little pinch of salt and a, just a little bit of vanilla. You don't even need to add a sweetener. Now, if you did use cocoa powder, so like 100% cocoa powder, they do recommend using sweetener, but I use dark chocolate chips. And that brand that I use, I love. Um, you can find that anywhere pretty much, I think. So, super good. Mm. I am gonna definitely be enjoying my homemade Nutella. Next time I will try it out, but cook it right. <laughs> but anyways, I'll catch you in just a little bit. Mm. All right guys, so today was a pretty solid day, man. I had a refeed on top of today, so I think that's really what helped me get through that leg workout and able to push some more weight. So I really hope you enjoyed the workout, the taste test, and the recipe video. Obviously it wasn't like perfect in that one, the vegan salmon, smoked salmon, just <laughs> Turned turn out to be so great, which it was it was really weird. So I really didn't care for it too much. Um, other than that, I mean, maybe I'll be able to try doing the recipe of making the vegan smoked salmon. So let me know if you guys want to see me do that. I mean, the Nutella was, I don't know, it wasn't a failure, but it wasn't a success in that I didn't make it perfect. So next time, if you buy the hazelnuts as I did, do, do not oven roast them for 15 minutes. If you put it at 350 Fahrenheit, just do like a 10 to 12. Or just keep a better eye on them because I probably should have just kept a better eye on them. But yeah, anyways, if you enjoyed this video, this other vlog, in being in quarantine in my house, I actually didn't drive anywhere for once. I did go for a walk, but other than that, I mean, I didn't go anywhere so that was kind of different for me so yeah give it a thumbs up if you haven't already and don't forget to subscribe i know you haven't done that yet so click that button join the family let me know down below what other recipes you like for me to make love you guys and i'll see you in the next video see ya